Hey, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at inline editing with Hotwire. More specifically, I'm going to transform a standard Rails generated scaffold that looks like this into something that looks like this. And I'll be doing that without writing any JavaScript. Well, maybe just a little, but it's totally optional. So let's go. I've generated a new Rails project and I've added a Tailwind CSS Rails gem to do the styling. And I've used the scaffold generator to create everything you see here. But I cleaned the controller a bit by removing the JSON response blocks because we don't use those. And I've also added this little helper to display the user's age based on the date of birth. But aside from that, there's not that much to it, and it works. So let's see how to make this use Hotwire to do the inline editing. We're going to first change the index template to list all the records in one big table. But instead of using a table element, which doesn't like it when you try to interleave form elements between its rows, we're going to use a CSS grid to display the divs like a table. So the difference between the old template and the new one is this. Notice that I've added the form to create new users at the top of the table as well. Speaking of the form, here's the difference between the old form and the new one. I'm using inline errors here, which are handled by a helper defined in the application helper.rb file. The helper takes the name of the field and the form object, and it finds errors for that field. Then it creates a div for each of the errors it finds. So if we have any errors, they will be shown at the bottom of the fields like this. Moving on to the list of users, for each of the users in the collection, we're rendering the user partial. And the user partial displays everything about the user, and it also adds two actions. One for editing the user, and one for deleting the user. So let's see what happens if we create a new user using the form at the top of the list. Submitting the form triggers the create action in the controller, and the create action doesn't redirect on success like it used to. Instead, it renders the turbo stream response, which adds the user partial to the top of the list, and it clears the form. And if there are any validation errors, it renders the new template, but because the template is wrapped with a turbo frame, it replaces the content in place. If we take a look at the response from the server, we can see the two turbo stream tags for the successful create. And the same applies for the failed create. Now let's take a look at how the edit works. Clicking the pencil icon triggers the edit action, which renders a turbo frame and replaces the contents of that row with the form. And submitting the form triggers the update action, which renders a turbo frame as well. If we take a look at the browser console, we can see that's exactly what's going on. Lastly, by clicking the trash icon, we're going to trigger the destroy action and it will render a turbo stream to remove the user from the list. So this is one simple way to convert your rail generated scaffolds to use hotwire and inline editing, which I think it's better than the default. And if you want to take it one step further, you can add animations to the flash message using stimulus.js and animate.css, which I've covered in a separate video. I've added it here just for kicks, but you don't have to if you don't want the JavaScript part. I hope you found this video useful, and if you want to see more videos about Hotwire, check out the Hotwire playlist which I've linked in the description. Bye!